What did I do? No! Immigrants dragged through the streets of Bisbee at gunpoint and thrown into cattle cars. The new movie by filmmaker Robert Greene isn't made up. Bisbee 17 is, in fact, a documentary that drudges up a dark past in Arizona's history that few know about or care to remember. Some people had never heard, I mean, people still had never heard of it. People who had lived in Bisbee for many years have still never heard of it. Just over 100 years ago, mining company Feltz Dodge organized the mass deportation of striking immigrant workers. We will be loading you on rail cars. Enjoy the AC while you got it. Over 1,200 were rounded up by force, thrown onto trains, and dropped off in the New Mexico desert. It was a concerted effort to kick the immigrants out. I mean, it's it, Bisbee was a white man's camp. I mean, it was, and that meant that that basically white men would get all the good jobs. White Anglo, you know, Americans would get all the good jobs. In making the film, Green used Bisbee residents to reenact the roundup as a way for the town to reckon with its past. But he hopes the movie will have viewers thinking about the present. It's not a history lesson. It's a movie about today, and it's a movie about how the ghosts of the past sort of resonate today. Dennis Welch for Arizona's Family.